bone is ulna. This ulna is also a long type of bone, and therefore it presents body and two extremities. This is one extremity, and this one is the second extremity. The remaining portion in the middle is the body. So body of ulna is prismatic, means it is having three surfaces and three borders are there. Now we will have to first name these surfaces. To name the surfaces, again hold the radius and ulna in a proper orientation. This is cranial surface of radius, this is caudal surface of radius and on the caudal surface of radius the ulna is attached. Means that attached surface of ulna can be termed as the cranial surface. And again have a look over the facet size. This is smaller facet, so this is lateral. Therefore, I will name this surface as lateral surface and opposite of lateral, this is medial surface. So we have named three surfaces of the ulna as cranial means attached. This is lateral surface, this is medial surface. Now borders, they can also be named as this is caudal border. This border is from the lateral side so this is lateral border and this border is the medial border now the first surface is the cranial surface means attached surface so cranial surface of ulna is somewhat convex and is attached to the radius on its caudo lateral aspect throughout its length except at two places which are called as proximal and distal interosseous space. Then lateral surface is straight. Similarly, the medial surface is also straight. The caudal border is concave and lateral border and the medial border, both the borders are straight. Now extremity. This extremity, the part which I am holding, that complete portion is the proximal extremity and proximal extremity is characterized by presence of a massive projection and this massive projection is called as allocranon process. This allocranon process, now concentrate only here in this particular area, the allocranon process has got two surfaces and it has got two borders also. Now surfaces we can name as we have named the surfaces of the ulna as well as radius, again have looked over the facet, this is smaller facet, therefore this surface is the lateral surface, opposite of lateral surface is medial surface. The lateral surface is rough and it gives attachment to three muscles. Here also I can show you that this is lateral surface. So these three muscles which are attached, they are the triceps brachii muscle comes like this. Then there is one tensor vesia anti and one anconius muscle. Means the muscles which are inserted over this allocranon process on its lateral aspect are triceps brachii, then the anconius process and tensor fascia anti -brachia. Now look at the medial surface. The medial surface is slightly concave. Now about borders. The caudal border is concave and this border is cranial. The cranial border is straight and it slopes down and end into a pointed projection. This pointed projection is called as the unconious process and this unconious process overhangs the semilunar notch. Here there is a notch. This notch is called as semilunar notch. It is hanged to the unconious process. Now distal extension. Distal extremity of ulna is characterized by presence of a pencil-like projection which is called as styloid process which completes the facet of ulnar carpal bone from the lateral side. That is all about the ulna.